squeamish. It's a weird word. Hey guys, welcome back to Love Lauren. It's good to have you here today. I am going to be talking about something that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I'm going to be telling you why you should hire me to do your wedding film versus another videographer. And I don't love trying to tell people why they should hire me versus someone else, but I am going to try and explain to you my method of um, filming a wedding and what makes me different from other people. One thing that I like to do on a wedding day is be a fly on the wall, and I think I do it pretty well. I want to capture all of your moments without getting in the way. Your photographer is posing you and guiding you, and basically I'm right next to them, kind of stealing their poses, um, getting my own angles while staying out of their way. I think that a wedding photographer, their job is the most important part of your day by capturing those moments that you're gonna hang on a wall. And I actually um, talked about this in a previous episode of Love Lauren, but I do think that wedding photographers are the main priority on your wedding day. I am there to capture what's going on. It's almost like kind of a documentary um, of your wedding day. I don't wanna make ripples. I don't want to um, be the center of attention. I just wanna capture what's going on, on on your wedding day. As I've done more and more weddings, I have realized when I need to step in and maybe give um, a little direction so I get the shots that I wanna get for your wedding film. I really thrive on having motion and having like candid moments. And sometimes a photographer really loves that style too, the candid, the moving type shots, but sometimes they're very posed and very um, more rigid, rigid poses. And that doesn't always let me get the shots that I know I need for your wedding film. So I know when it's appropriate for myself to step in and say, hey, can I have a couple like walk toward us holding hands or maybe do a little spin? So I feel like I have a good, um, I know when I need to step in and give some direction to my couple without overstepping the bounds in the photographer's lane. And um, that moves me into my next point. I feel like I work really well with lots of photographers. I've been with a wedding photographer on her first wedding ever. And I've also been with very well-trained, very experienced photographers. And I, I've seen a whole range in between of styles, of edit of yeah just editing styles how they shoot um i've seen like more documentary type photography versus um the really really strict pose photography and i feel like i can still get um, a really good wedding film no matter who i work with i don't overstep bounds i try to make a good impression on the photographer and get to know them and have fun with them I learn a lot from every photographer that I work with and that can translate and help me when I shoot weddings, when I do photos for weddings or even learning things about my camera that I didn't know I could do. So I just love working with different photographers. I will say that I think my wedding films turn out the best when you hire a more natural, um, candid photographer versus a very strictly posed photographer. I do think there's a time and place for posed images, posed moments, but my films really thrive on getting lots of authentic moments and movement and candid things like that. But I know when to step in and ask for some of those um, if I know I'm not getting them through the photographer. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make your day run smoothly. I'm not gonna pull you and your husband or you and your um, bride away and need my own like hour of shooting time or 30 minutes of shooting time. I work really well with the photographer and I think we play we end up playing off really well from each other and giving each other ideas for poses and I think I work really well with a photographer and we end up bouncing ideas off each other. And basically we wanna stay on schedule. We wanna serve you um, and your groom or you and your bride. And I think I do a really good job of making that happen. This may sound a little weird, but I promise that I'm going to deliver a wedding film to you that you're gonna look back on and say, that's, that's what our day looked like, okay? There's lots of different styles and editing styles um, of wedding uh, photography and wedding videography going on right now. Uh, I really try to stay true to color. I want you to remember the exact moments that were happening on your wedding day. For example, if your day was really rainy and it was, um, we had to use cute umbrellas and um, it was a dark and moody type of day, um, that's what is gonna be reflected in your wedding video, okay? Not that I'm like a moody videographer, but I'm going to, what I see through my lens, what I see on your wedding day, is what is gonna be portrayed in the final product that I give you. If your day, it is bright and sunny and there's lots of colors and it's spring and there's 
buds on trees and there's like that's what you're gonna see it's not gonna be the opposite where it's moody and I really try to cater to what your day looks like so you can relive it and actually re refeel all of those things that you felt as you lived them on your wedding day what I can promise you is that the bride and groom are my top priority during a wedding day. I want to serve you the best that I can, help your day run smoothly. I feel like I'm usually, I usually step into roles like personal attendant by fluffing the dress or making sure that groomsmen's ties are straight or that we have the flowers and they're facing the right way. I, I bring a lot to the table and I don't want to, I don't want to like brag about that, but I feel like I've been to a lot of weddings. I've seen a lot of things. I feel like I can get things back on track. I work really well with other photographers. I work well with other wedding vendors, meaning your florist and your wedding planner. And if you have a DJ, all those things, I've seen a lot, I've been through a lot, and I feel like I am really ready and excited to film your wedding day. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions about my style of editing or just have any questions about what a wedding film could look like for your day, please reach out. Um, I'd be excited to talk to you. If you think we're a good fit, you can head to the link in my bio and fill out my contact form, which I actually think is broken, but you can still email me or DM me and I can um, give you information about packages and all the things that I offer. So thank you so much. I hope this made you think about maybe including a wedding film in your day and maybe you'll hire me. That'd be so fun. I'd love to work with you. Okay, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.